Hello some viewers how are you all welcome back to another video guys in this video we are going to discuss how we can work with tables in specflow in a previous video guys we would have seen how to install specflow and also the scenario was automatically created in this video guys i'll write one scenario I'll click on enter. So I'll write scenario. I'll write spec flow working with tables. I'll click on enter. I'll write a given statement. So you can see the given here. Given I input values to the calculator. Calculator. That's it. What I'm adding it here. I'm adding uh, my values as pipeline symbols here. I'll be writing numbers or maybe values. I'll write values. I'll give same values which are there here: 50 and 70. 50 and 70. Here is the first value. Enter. I'll give it as 70. So now I have to click on right click, go to definition. I've copied this. Go to step definition file. Come at the bottom. I think I click on enter here, and I can paste it. So this was my statement. Clicking on tab. That's it. So yeah, as you can see here, one more thing you have noticed. We have added a table because we have given the example values here, and we can print those values also. So let me remove this pending step definition. Let me uh, save this data equal to. So what I'll do here table. I'll take this table value. I want to print the table values. What are the values we have given in the future part? So for that uh, I'll put dot. Can I create a set? So create set. Do we have any method like that? Let me go down. So we don't have a method because we have to define a set. Okay. So let me give create that as a proper camel case. Now here, this is very crucial. We can write a class. We can define a record, whatever. Record public. We can write a record here. I'll write. A Public integer to our values. So I'll write here values. The values I'll be assigning get and set. Get semicolon. So this will be very important. Okay. So here I'll be giving this reference of calci in the table set. Close like this. Smart data. The table does not contain definition create set. Not acceptable with it. So even after adding this record, I'm getting this error, right? So let me go to suggestions. So it is saying use tech.doc specflow dot assist. So let me create that, right? So yeah, that error is now gone. Here we have in the calculator future two values, right? 50 and 70. I want to print those two values. How can I print? I can use for each loop instead of directly printing it, right? So let me take for each for each loop. In the for each loop, I'll write var item value in for each loop. Okay, each item value in data. So here, what I'll do, I have opened the close bracket. I'll write console dot write line item value to string. But I don't. I will not use item value here. I can also print item value, right? So let me just see. Take this value. I'll go to Test Explorer. So I want to execute this. So let me run it. So let the build has now started. So test case has now passed. Let me see the values here. So this is Calci values are 50 and 70. It is printing like this. See here. So now I'll give a proper print. Let me uh, go to step definitions. Instead of this, I'll write right line of. Let me put dollar here. The value is. So I'll write item value dot values. 
so i want to print this because i have taken a record right so i'll i want to print that item dot right let me go back to my test explorer let me save this okay let me go to test explorer so i want to run only this let me run it here so now we'll see the data summary report here so yeah you can see the value is 50 and 70 so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye